Hey guys, it's Lee and I didn't do my proper intro. Oh no. Hey guys, it's Lee and today we're getting up close and dangerously personal. Not really, it's just the camera's really close to my face. Anyway, today I'm going to be doing my November favourites, even though there's like a week left of November, but shh, 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 shh. Let's get into the favourite video. So first up is my makeup favourites and I have two of those. The first being this. This is the Beautifully Matte Light Foundation by number 7. It is in the shade Calico because I'm pale AF. It's the only foundation I found that is light enough for my skin but it is still like half a shade too dark. But we're getting there. It's as close as I can get it so that's cool. It's oil free, it has SPF in it, it is hypoallergenic and it actually is helping my skin. It's keeping my spots under control which is amazing because you guys I'm pretty sure if you have me on snapchat you know how bad my skin gets and it is it's terrible but it's brilliant I love it yeah I think it's like 14 99 and it lasts quite a while I had this one from like April to October my second makeup favorite is this NYX soft matte lip cream in Copenhagen number 20 it's like a nice plum color very autumnal fall wearable the dry time is a little bit longer than I'd like and if I drink too many cups of tea I do have to reapply it but apart from that it is beautiful as last I just can't drink 7,000 cups of tea in a day my mum just rang me and asked me if I wanted pizza. Like, hell yeah, I want pizza. Next up is my favourite clothing item of the month. Now, I've been told by my doctor that the underwire on my bra is causing my rib to dislocate. I have a condition that makes my rib dislocate, but my bra is not helping the situation. My mother keeps ringing me. Basically, I can't wear a bra and they're like, buy a bralette. But as you may know, I am quite a big boob child, so I need the support. But I'd found this online. I don't remember where I bought it, it was like 3am, but it's cute, it's a lot of lace. No, before you say anything, did not buy this for anybody, I'm single AF and have no plans of ever getting anybody because nobody likes me. This is just for me, this is just a lot of lace. It's really comfy though and my boobs don't fall out of it. Must cup them when running upstairs. Not that I can run upstairs because... I have knee issues. It's cute. I like it. My favourite scent of the month is not salted caramel. It's not quite Christmas. Instead, it is this Lavender Sunset Yankee Candle. This is from their Autumn Collection. I don't know, we got sent it through the post because we buy a lot of candles. We get like the new collections as they come in with the different seasons and this is divine. It's very floral but it does also smell a little bit like sand even though, yeah. I don't know, but it smells like sand to me. It's beautiful. I recommend you put your nose inside of it if you find one. Next up is my favourite book of the month, and no, I don't have the dust jacket. It's it's over there and I can't be bothered standing up. This is Magnus Chase and the Hammer of Thor by Rick Riordan. It is book two in the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard series, The Sword of Summer being the first book. It came out on October 4th. I got it October 6th. I have not finished it, and I've been reading it since October 6th, but I have read other books in between. I'm just kind of pacing myself because I'm in love with this book and I don't want it to end and the next book comes out next year and I don't want to have to wait. I love this book because I just love Rick Riordan and everything Norse gods but there is one specific character in this book that wasn't in the first book that I love. Her name is Alex Fierro. I think that's how you pronounce this her name. She is a gender fluid transgender. She is primarily a she in the book so we're just gonna stick with that. She does not like they them pronouns. She is either he or she. That is her decision and it's so funny just watching Magnus try to figure it out on a daily basis and then Alex is just like these are my pronouns and he's like okay yeah cool. It's not like in an offensive way it's done very respectfully but it's also slightly funny to just watch Magnus I think, from my perspective, fall in love, but it was just, yeah. For anybody interested, I think Alex was born a boy because they keep saying son of Loki. She's like, no, until I say I am a daughter of Loki and that is what you will call me. And it's just like, boom. Anyway, I keep picturing her, because she's the daughter of Loki, as a female Tom Hiddleston and it just gets me all kinds of excited and I honestly would marry her if I could because her fashion sense, pink and green, it just, it, hmm, rose high tops, I love, I just, I want to marry her, please, 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 if I can't marry Dodie or Helen Mirren and she was actually a real human being, I'd marry her. 
quite happily. What am I admitting here? I don't know. <laughs> totally bought this for Alex. Anyway, it's a fantastic book so far, and I highly recommend you read the series and all of Rick Ryden's other work. My favourite TV show of the month has been House because I recently got Netflix back because I paid for it myself. My brother won't give me his password yet. It's been months. May 23rd was when I was supposed to get it anyway. So when I got my Netflix back, I accidentally binge watched all eight seasons of House. No regrets. I did get all my college work done. Fantastic, I loved it. I loved it the first time I watched it, but I never fully finished it, so I just binge watched all eight seasons and had a blast. It just, I loved it. Need I say more? I have a special place in my heart for Hugh Laurie because I loved Stuart Little when I was a child, so yeah. My favorite film of the month is Harry Potter, and no, it's not Fantastic Beasts. I haven't seen it yet. Shh. I'm trying to drag my best friend to go see it because she wants to go see it again. So basically I have been spending a lot of time at college because I'm on these pay meds which make me high and very sleepy. So I accidentally slept through my first lesson and then I didn't have any other lessons until the afternoon and then I accidentally slept through that one. But in between I had a Harry Potter marathon which was really fun and I enjoyed the bits that I saw. I pretty much watched them all. I'm gonna have to rewatch the last two because I think I definitely fell asleep all the way through those. But I just, I love Harry Potter, Ravenclaw's for life. Dodie recently changed to Ravenclaw. Thank you very much. I knew she was a Ravenclaw. There's just something about her being in Hufflepuff that just felt wrong. She belongs with me. No, with my house, but with me. Marry me, Dodie. Please, please marry me. <laughs> This month I have two favourite apps. The first is Wattpad because, as I said, I've been reading things to keep me away from Magnus. So I've read two stories and I'm currently halfway through a third. I will leave them all linked below. My favourite one out of the three so far is the first one that I finished. It's called High School Hit List. Basically this girl's best friend gets in with the popular group and then something tragic happens so then her friend out of the picture. This girl has to infiltrate the popular group and then bring them down from the inside. There's a lot of heartbreak, a lot of mystery, a lot of drama, so much bitchiness and honestly if this is how high school works in America I'm so glad I was born in Britain because I don't think I cope. Like I think our hierarchy in Britain is messed up for popularity so if that's actually how it is in America I'd be homeschooled. Probably. The second app is Stylebook. I think that's what it's called. I found it on Pinterest and because I have two different wardrobes because I live in two different houses during the weeks, I need to be able to pack lightly and plan my outfits in advance. So on this app I can log all of my clothes in a wardrobe. I can then log what I've worn on every day of the month because it gives you like a calendar. You can add inspirational pictures if you find them on Pinterest of a cute outfit. You can just add it there and then just make your own that looks a little similar. You can also get style tips and la da 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 and you know make little outfits and lookbooks and it's just it's all so exciting and I'm not even a big fan of fashion she says. <laughs> uh, no I'm genuinely I'm genuinely like not that big of a clothes holic I guess. I get all kinds of excited with anything to do with organisation so this app is wonderful, so helpful and I cannot praise it enough. Although I think I just did. It does however cost $2.99 I think, it's somewhere around that. It was worth it. I think it's worth it. It's great. I love it. My favourite album of the month is of course the Intertwined EP by Dodie because what else would it be? You guys know, if you have me on Snapchat, that I've been counting down to November 18th since she announced it on her YouTube channel and I was just all kinds of excited. I've had it on repeat, non-stop. I listen to it when I'm doing my makeup. I listen to it when I'm in the shower. I just, I, I love Dodie. Marry me, Dodie. Marry me. Please. <laughs> and I'm so excited that I get to go and see her live. My favourite song on the album, if you're wondering, is a toss-up between Absolutely Smitten because that was the first ever video. Oh my god, she's announcing something. Wait, hang on. We did it. She's in the- <gasps> Oh my god, she's in the top 40! Oh yeah, Absolutely Smitten because that was the first ever video of Dodie's that I watched and I fell in love with it and then when I found out it was on the EP I was like, dude, download it right now! But I also have like a special place in my heart for- 
sick of losing soulmates because I just, I cry every time I hear it. I have a deep soulful connection with it because when it was released I was going through a bit of a rough patch and I just, I felt all of the emotion. Wait, hang on, she's getting thankful. I'm <laughs> just like that. Dodie, I'm talking about you, you don't need to like pop up. Yeah, that was my favorite song and album. I, yeah, I just, I love Intertwined EP. I love everything about it and I love Dodie. Marry me. <laughs> but yes, that is it for this week's video, guys. If you'd like to be sure to give it a big old thumbs up, as well as links down in the description, so make sure you give it me because I've been tweeting Dodie all lately and it's fun. But please, stay off my Instagram. What is happening to my Instagram? My Instagram is like blowing up lately and I have absolutely no idea why, but please stop it because I don't think Kevin's coping with the amount of notifications. I might just have to turn my notifications off for Instagram, which I kind of don't want to do. Also, big shout out to Mal. Uri, Mallory, I don't know. It says Mal, but then she said her name's Mallory. I don't know. Mallory? Mallory? Go follow Mallory. I'll leave her links down below. She has an Instagram and a Twitter. Oh my god, manager Josh is tweeting. She is adorable. It's basically a fan account because my other one got deleted. She kind of just jumped ship. So thanks to Mal for picking it up. Although why I have a fan account at just over 200 subs, I have no idea, but I'm thankful, I guess. It just feels a bit weird. Subscribe to the channel and see you next time with a brand new video. Ciao! Mwah.